Hi, the short answer to the question is files actually remain in storage when you delete them. And to understand why, we need to know how files are stored in your digital devices. A digital storage on your computer or mobile devices are like bookshelves. The storage is split into blocks of smaller storages that are labelled. When you save files, the storage gets occupied. As you continue saving your favourite photos, videos and even secret documents, you eventually fill up the entire storage space. And when that happens, you delete files to free up the space. In the example shown, we delete the file located at storage F. But note that files you have deleted remains in storage. With that understanding, let's take a closer look at what happens behind the screen when you delete your files. Your digital devices keep track of the availability of each block of storage space and in this example, the storage is full. And when you delete your files, your digital devices will free up the space that the deleted files have occupied. In this case, storage F and J have been freed up. Now that we have available storage, let's save a new file. When we save a file, the digital device will look for empty blocks of storage to store the file. Once an available space is identified, the new file will override whatever was in the storage, thereby completely deleting the old file from existence. We learned that files remain in storage even when you have deleted them. The only thing that changed is the availability of the storage space holding the file. So, what should we do if we want to completely clean up the entire digital storage? All digital files are represented as strings of zeros and ones in the digital world, and you can completely delete all files in the digital storage by overwriting the storage with a bunch of random zeros and ones that have no meaning. And there are plenty of software available for your computer, mobile devices, and tablets to do so. I hope you learned something and if you find this video useful, please share this video with your friends or family to spread this knowledge.